Okay, so what we are going to do is first let me introduce you to the ingredients that we are using. So the main ingredients of today's uh, Karachi biscuit first is pistachio, which is nothing but your pista. Uh, what I have done is I have peeled the pista and I have cut it into slivers like this. You know, look at it. Look at the nice, beautiful green color. And here I have some tutti frutti. So. For making any biscuit, usually the first stage is you need to mix the butter and sugar. Okay, so the butter and sugar first needs to be mixed. So what we are going to do is in a bowl. First, we will start by adding in the butter. So this is soft butter. Remember, you have to use soft butter and not cold frozen butter. Okay, एकदम soft होना चाहिए. So here I've added in the butter. Now the next ingredient that we will add to this is vanilla. Okay, so some vanilla essence or vanilla extract, whatever you have, approximately half teaspoon. Okay, in terms of grams, guys, the butter is um, around fifty-six grams, which is about one fourth cup. The next ingredient that I have here is powdered sugar. This is regular chini which has been cut. Uh, sorry, which has been pisoed. So this is just powdered sugar. It is not icing sugar. Regular जो हम चाय में डालने के लिए चीनी use करते हैं, वो ही चीनी को पीसा है हमने. You can simply mix it like this. Okay? Simply mix it like this. And just keep on mixing this properly. अपने आप you will see that it will become a little light in color. Okay, so th this is basically bakery style biscuit, uh, the one that you have in Hyderabad. It is similar to that. Now the next ingredient that I am adding is completely optional. यूजली uh, नहीं भी डालते हैं काफी जगह बट इट इज ऑरेंज जेस्ट ओके अगेन आई पर्सनली लाइक द फ्लेवर ऑफ ऑरेंज जेस्ट इसलिए आई एम यूजिंग इट यहां पे आई हैव मिल्क राइट नाउ आई विल ओनली एड अबाउट वन टेबल स्पून मिल्क Simply mix it the way I am mixing it. Now, in terms of dry ingredients, the first ingredient that I have here, this is a uh, custard powder. Okay, this is vanilla custard powder, guys. This is completely optional. So first, we'll add the custard powder. Now, custard powder is a great replacement to eggs. So I'm mixing the custard powder in. At this point. Here I have maida. A lot of you, I'm sure, will ask that why maida? You can also use whole wheat flour. It is not a problem. Okay. So here in goes the maida. You can use fifty-fifty also whole wheat flour and um, you know maida combination. Here I have tutti frutti. There is no need to coat the tutti frutti. Coating of tutti frutti has to happen only when you are making cake. Now here I have some American pistachio. So these are perfect. इससे ज़्यादा इसको cut भी करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. Just look at the nice, beautiful green color. Let's put that all in. And now we will simply give this all a mix. Like I said, इसके अंदर कोई baking powder नहीं है, कोई baking soda नहीं है. Nothing. Nothing is required. Also, never over mix your cookie dough. Okay, never over mix it. Okay, don't worry. We will be refrigerating this, so it will be just perfect. So don't worry about it. Now, what I am using is I am using this cling film. Um, if anybody doesn't want to use cling film, you can also use a parchment paper. That's totally okay. Simply put this mixture here. 
ओके सो डोंट वरी अबाउट हाउ इट लुक्स राइट नाउ लाइक आई सेड सिंपली शेप इट रफली ओके रफली शेप इट इन टू अ लॉग ओके रफली शेप इट अप लाइक दिस ब्रिंग इट टूगेदर now you can decide whether you want this to be a circle or you want this to be a square okay so we will make squares so what i am going to do is i am going to just tighten the edges like this now we will put this in the freezer okay what i've done is i've put this onto a plate and i will put this in the freezer this is going in the freezer now i have these cherries like i said these are northwest cherries and uh, okay it is warming up i was like oh is it not working okay so what we are going to do is i have cut these cherries uh, you have to simply remove the seeds of these cherries so i have some deseeded ones so i have some cut cherries here Up, along with the cherries we will also add some blueberries So what is nice is that cherries are sweet and tart and blueberries are also sweet and tart. Okay so we'll make I'm just making a small one portion kind of portion size. Along with this I am adding some sugar to this. Like I said you can always use uh, any sweetener of your choice. It is not compulsory that you have to use uh, sugar okay? so don't worry about that it's totally up to you what sweetener you want or what sweetener you decide to use let's make the second component the second component is again very very easy i have some hung curd so here in goes the fresh cream i am adding some honey little bit of vanilla give this a mix you can use a whisk a whisk is like the easiest tool to use this will help you get rid of all the lumps also here you can see that the cherry and blueberry compote is now mushy okay it has become mushy what you could do is you can break some of the blueberries like this because blueberry has a very beautiful color or i have a glass so we will start by adding a little bit of this mixture the yogurt mixture now on to this we will add these corn flakes okay so tap this a bit give this like a tap a little tap also the idea is actually breakfast you can also add granola here like an oats granola we'll add another layer of this yogurt mixture just using a spoon spread it out it's slightly hot but you can cool it and add it whenever you are making it also a little bit of the natural juicy syrup some more corn flakes this is nice and pretty and now on top of this now on top of this we will add some fresh blueberries and of course some cherries so here some blueberries Of course, some cherries because 
it's in season right now and it just makes it look very very beautiful have some basil handy so i'm adding some basil leaves here and that's it just look at that i will show you a side view of this as well it is super nice 